Hi everybody, Puffin here. Well, I just heard Trump's farewell speech and I had to post my reaction, which is, bye Felonicia, just glad he's gone, I'm glad he's leaving. Has to be his best speech ever because it was for the very first time something that connected with reality, with something that we all understand, that Trump finally understands, instead of this fantasy land of fear and hate that he's always talked about. And that thing is the important fact that he's leaving. He seems to finally accept that he's leaving and be planning to leave. So that's good news and nice to not have a lot of suspense over whether they're going to drag him out or something like that. Like he's actually going to plan to leave tomorrow morning is what I've heard. So it was a great speech in that regard that he's leaving. So uh, don't let the wall hit you on the way out. But I just... Uh, I'm so glad he's done. I'm so glad for that part of the speech. The rest of the speech I don't want to get into too much. I mean, it was a bunch of like good sounding stuff in a lot of ways, but if you listen to it closely, you can still hear all the same dog whistles and coded language to tell, basically, if you pay attention to what he's saying. And while he's speaking in terms that suggest he's speaking to and for the whole country, Instead of being like the nation speaking for the nation, he's speaking for and to white nationalists, as he always has been. And some of that is a little more obvious than others. A lot of it was just kind of good sounding words, and I'm kind of surprised that he said those words because somebody wrote a speech for him, which is better than the other stuff he's been saying. But it had some of the same stuff, you know, talking about being the pioneers, talking about, you know, the pioneers are only one part of the American story, but saying, well, when we were going across the prairie, like focusing on certain groups of people that he considers to be the Americans. So I feel like, you know, it's more of the same stuff, but at least it's the end of it. And it was uh, fairly gracious for at least trying to say some good things. Now, trying to get his little digs in there as well was complete crap. And, you know, he's trying to do his little minor fear mongering and stuff like don't mess that up or whatever. Like he didn't get the respect of the world. He lost the respect of the world entirely. And I do have to give anybody credit for not starting wars. Um, don't know that he really gets credit for that. But if you recall, he seemed to bring us to the brink of war with North Korea and possibly Iran at times. And a good thing we didn't have war. So there is credit for that. But again, when the very best thing he did was not do something, um, like not start a war, that's a good thing to not do. But what did he do? You know, he kept uh, kept Harriet Tubman off the $20 bill. He, you know, did a lot of racist stuff is what he did and a lot of uh, fascist stuff. And I'm glad that's over as far as him doing it, but it's not over as far as the repercussions of it. I think you got to expand the Supreme Court or find some way to remove the justices he appointed, depending on the extent to which they dig into what happened with Trump. Now, last thing I want to say about this, just as a response to him finally leaving, is I don't, I've don't. i never really changed my mind on Trump. I've always seen him for what he was as a terrorist and a fascist and a racist from the very beginning, from before, you know, from during the campaign or whatever. It's, my opinions remain the same. I feel like more and more people have caught up to my opinion on that, which I'm grateful for, and hopefully that continues and people, you know, find out even more that proves it even more to everyone. And I think that's the way it'll go in the future. I can't imagine changing my mind about Trump in the future. I think as more things come out, more people will agree with the harshest critics of Trump. And good for him that he can finally accept that he lost the election or he's leaving or whatever, that he can just finally start to accept it because I almost feel sorry for the guy as much as he's put forth his conspiracy theories to realize that that's not true. It seems like it would be like shattering or something. So it seems like, you know, for him, it's kind of a gracious exit. Um, but just, you know, get the hell out. I'm so glad you're gone. Um, Got to make sure we're doing better and undoing the damage he did. I also thought it was kind of disgusting him mentioning uh, killing the Iranian general or whoever it was uh, that they killed. And I, I thought about why did he have to mention that? Um, in a way, it was maybe part of some other stuff. And then I would just think about what I would say about it. I realized, oh, because... Uh, Osama bin Laden was killed during the Obama administration. And Trump's always trying to outdo Obama in some way. Same with the NAFTA deal. I don't think that the trade deal Trump got is significantly different than NAFTA, but because he renegotiated it and undid something that I guess Bill Clinton did or something, but you know, he has to you know, be that way. 
act like he did something. But the things he did do are mostly terrible as far as I can tell. Um, I mean, it's, everything I saw him doing throughout these years have been terrible. So I think that's the way most people felt about it, who were really paying attention and know what's really going on. So uh, I think that th that'll be the impression that everyone has in the future. That's how he'll be seen in history. And while this was a good speech, um, the best part about it was he's leaving. Um, that he's actually accepting that was kind of just good for everybody. So uh, looking forward to that. At this time, it's almost 5 o'clock, so 7 o'clock. Their time, that's only 17 more hours until Trump's officially gone. So, um, or gosh, is it? Yeah, 17, 17 hours, so, uh, which is a lucky number, the number of Kuan Yin, goddess of compassion. So, uh, peace and love to everyone and be safe. Um, and hopefully we'll have this, these last 17 hours be safe and even safer times after that as we all move forward together into a new non-fascist or anti-fascist era because we don't have to just be less fascist we have to go in the opposite direction to get good things done because we've done a lot of damage but this is a good turning point so thanks for watching stay tuned